morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel, guys. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. Today, again, talking about Bitcoin blockchain and life while walking the beautiful beach here in Phuket, Thailand. Uh, of course, four amazing charts again, a beautiful trading tip. Yes, also a live advice and a travel tip. And talking about the news, because I want to know if the Argentinian president is really going to do what he promises to do and if that is even possible. So watch the complete video to see the result of that. Let's jump into the charts first to see what is happening to Bitcoin. Are we gonna break 40K, yes or no? Here we go, bam. The first chart, guys, is the daily chart. And of course, I will keep track on this daily chart because I wanna see what is gonna happen. And this current candle that's gonna close in 23 hours and 21 minutes is looking very bullish again. The body is becoming bigger, bigger, bigger. So yes, I believe this candle could be the candle that's gonna try, because it's a weekend and we always see volatile weekends, to break the top of the Bollinger Band around 38K. And if we break this 38K in the weekend, then in the weekend we can even see probably a push all the way into 40K. And that would be a beautiful level for Bitcoin to reach, 40K. There's a long time ago we were at that level, but it's amazing and I will drink a beautiful Bacardi Coke or gin tonic when we will reach that level again, guys. Now let's take a look at some very interesting charts. First chart I want to take a look at, guys, is this chart. This chart, you can see there's a huge amount of liquidations, short liquidations, at 38,000 US dollar. Which means if we go to the price of 38,000 US dollar, a lot of shorts will be liquidated. And mostly that will happen in this market because in this market, liquidations need to be happening to get new liquidity into the market. And that huge amount of yellow bars that you can see there at 38K, these are all shorts that will be liquidated at that level. So believe me, we will first hit that level to liquidate a lot of these shorts, guys. The second chart, guys, this is the Bitcoin supply and profit. This chart is showing you how much of the Bitcoin supply is in profit. At the moment, 16.366 million Bitcoins is in profit. We are at the same level as November 2021 and May 2021. At those moments, the same amount of Bitcoins was in profit. The same amount of Bitcoin supply was in profit. Only during the previous two peaks, we were higher than this level. And I believe in this next bull market that we are going to see from now all the way up into 2025, we are going to see a Bitcoin supply and profit that we have never seen before. I believe that we are going to see 100% of Bitcoin supply and profit for a very long time. And why? Because we have more and more people understanding that they need to hold Bitcoin for longer terms. Also on this chart, the unrealized profit state. We can see now that we are around that midline, that blue line. We have the green, we have the blue, and we have the red line. We are now with that orange line finding that blue line. Now just look to the left to before 2018-17 where we were in the bull market phase and when we first hit the blue line. We were between 2016 and 17. That is when that orange line for the first time went above that blue line. That was the pre-phase of the bull market. After that, we went above that blue line and were searching for that green line. And that was that huge second part of the bull market. Now look again between 2019 and 2020. That was the first time we went above that blue line with the orange line. And yes, we had that COVID crash, which forced that orange line to come below the blue line again. But then when we went above that blue line again between 2020 and 21, that was the second phase of the bull market and that orange line went even above the green line. Now look what is happening today. That orange line is touching that blue line. We are exactly at the same moment that we saw there between 2016 and 17 and between 2019 and 20. This is the moment that you can still buy Bitcoin cheaply before we will have that second part of the explosive bull market ahead of us understand these charts pause the video if you want to analyze them a little bit more the bitcoin short-term holder supply and the exchange balances also here something very interesting is happening we have all-time low percent of circulating in combined short-term holder and exchange balances an all-time low that means we have never been this low 
when it comes to the combined short-term hauling and exchange balances. It's only 23.8% of the supply that is now on exchanges or in short-term hands. All the rest of the supply is off exchanges, cold storage, hardware wallets, and in long-term hands. These are crazy cool numbers. This means there is no selling pressure at all. People are not prepared to sell at the moment. They are hodling. They don't put their Bitcoins on exchange because they don't want to sell. These are amazing numbers, guys. Beautiful chart. You need to pause the video and analyze it a little bit more to really understand what this chart is showing you. Also this chart, very interesting. The e-liquid supply, the 90-day change versus the issuance. We have never seen this ever before. The issuance is this orange area. As you can see, normally through the accumulation phase, the liquid supply, so this bluish purplish area that you can see on the chart, is moving inside of this orange area, sometimes peaking above it, sometimes peaking below it, but on average, the beautiful purple bluish fits into that orange area. Even in the last accumulation phase, before 2021 peak, we can see, yes, there were some peaks of the bluish area, but we were maintaining that orange area, guys. We even sustained accumulation through the halving. But now, if you look what is happening now, you can compare it with all the parts of the chart and to the left, the accumulation rates are exceeding the issuance already since February 2022. There is not enough issuance daily if you compare it to the accumulation rate. More and more and more people want Bitcoin, but not enough Bitcoins are being curated and issued every day. And that is why now, during this accumulation phase, that last part, the red circle, you can see the blue peaks, the purple blue peaks, all the way above that orange area. And that issuance is all depending on the halvings. And what do you think that's going to happen in April 2024? That orange area that you see will again be divided by two and will become smaller again. And when that becomes smaller again, those blue peaks, that illiquid supply, will be higher compared to that orange issuance amount and that means again that the bitcoin price only can go up guys very interesting chart very cool also to see the correlation between those two guys check it out for yourself pause the video and analyze it a little bit more then we have this chart as well the illiquid supply in bitcoin at the moment we have an illiquid supply as an all-time high of 15.4 million bitcoin so 15.4 million Bitcoin is illiquid and it's very difficult to sell them because they are not on exchanges and they are mostly on hardware wallets, etc. The cycle low during the top in 2021, that was at 13.7 million. Around 1.7 million has transferred now to illiquid wallets over the last 900 days. So now, even when the bull market still needs to be started, we are already at 15.4 million Bitcoins in a liquid supply guys crazy cool numbers this was the last chart for today guys i hope you really enjoyed these charts yes also those glass node charts very clear we are on the brink of a beautiful bull market for bitcoin you should be accumulating bitcoin every day i will keep repeating it till you comment down below yes we are all in yes i sold my third car yes i sold my second car yes i sold my motorbike yes i sold my house yes i sold my holiday house yes i sold everything i own and went all into bitcoin i will keep repeating till that moment that you do that <laughs> that you should be accumulating bitcoin at the accumulation phase which clearly was shown on these charts now let's zoom out in bitcoin buy it wait for the top exchange a little bit at that top and then take your profits and then buy all that stuff back my honest opinion but let's jump now into the trading tip the sun starts to rise guys check how beautiful here it comes i was very early this morning seven o'clock because i have a very busy day i need to go early you can see beach is still 
completely empty aside of one or two persons guys the trading tip again about moving average the whole week is about moving average maybe every week will be about a new subject but this week was the moving averages when it comes to moving average there are two very important moments on the chart one is the golden cross we are going up and one is the dead cross we are going down and these two crosses are when the 50 and the 200 ma are crossing each other on the chart so when the 50 is crossing above the 200 that is the golden cross when the 50 is crossing down below the 200 that is the death cross and which mostly is lagging behind i need to be very honest but the moment we can see this death cross golden cross nearing we can already start to anticipate on the move that is going to happen are we going to go more bullish or more bearish very important points on the chart golden cross and the death cross if you want to know more about uh, moving averages of course then watch all the other videos of this week or yeah just google it there is so much information on the internet that you can educate yourself you don't need any fancy expensive course or go and join the bitcoin family vip members because everyone is educating each other there and i am there daily to answer all of your questions and way more yes also bitcoin buying signals and selling signals so check the bitcoin family vip member for more education now let's jump into the travel tip the travel tip for today is about how to connect with other travelers and local people there's many ways to connect to travelers or other local people or for example other of, of, or for example other expats one of the most simple ways to connect to all those people is through sports restaurants and bars so through sports for example my brother always joins pedal clubs all over the world because my brother is a very good pedal player so everywhere he goes also here in phuket he joins the pedal club and he gets to know a shitload of expats a shitload of local people and also a shitload of travelers that all love the sport pedal and they connect on these weekly tournaments weekly games they have these whatsapp groups where they connect with each other to play games and then of course from that moment you start to connect to those people that also live here play that sport and it's a very beautiful way to get to know other people that are living around you same as of course a restaurant and bars go to the local restaurants and bars not to the bars and restaurants where all the tourists goes but the local ones to have a drink on thursday evening and you will find a lot of people there that also live in that area and that you can connect with so those three places are the easiest places to connect to other people. Sports is always connecting people. Wherever you go in the world, people always love sports. Another family that's also traveling is the Just Be Free family. I hope you follow their YouTube as well. They do um, CrossFit. So everywhere in the world where they go, they do CrossFit. So now here in Phuket, they went also to the CrossFit club somewhere near uh, Phuket Central. And at that CrossFit club, they are now having a lot of fun and connections with all kinds of people. Uh, there's a very friendly dog coming at me. Look, he's there. He wants to play a little bit, you see? <laughs> so they do CrossFit. And CrossFit is for them the connections to all their community members. And again, get to know other people. So sports is always the connecting factor for a lot of people all over the world. So my travel tip for today, connect to other people through sports, bars or restaurants. That was the travel tip. Let's jump into the next part. this section should be now about answering the question of a follower but there was no real good question yesterday's video so i'm going to tell you a little bit about what we can offer you as the bitcoin family at the moment we have this special deal to become part of the bitcoin family vip members if you become part of the bitcoin family vip members you get access to a special vip uh, telegram group where i am daily active as well so you can uh, so you can answer me all kinds of questions i upload all kinds of educational videos that i don't upload to youtube i also give a daily update sometimes with shorts there's a lot of advantages as a bitcoin vip member also you get access to the bitcoin family indicator setup that we use to trade also to the new indicator packages that we use to trade also to educational courses in the future i'm building this course environment where you can log in and check all the education that i want to provide for you guys of course for free if you're a vip member you get also access to the vip bitcoin sell and buy signals on a daily basis you will see which trades we 
are taking as a Bitcoin family. So you can see when we buy, you can see how we put the stop loss, so everything else. So you can just copy those trades. And in the future, probably way more services are gonna be added to the VIP memberships, guys. Maybe I forget one or two of this now, but just go there and check it for yourself. You can find all the information on the bitcoinfamily.com. And then in the menu, you can see products and below products, you can see VIP membership. Just check it for yourself what you can get for that special price only till the end of this year because from the 1st of January 2024 when the bull market is starting even more, yes, it is going to be way more expensive to become a Bitcoin family VIP member. We have now this promotion price because we're still structuring and building more and more services into the membership package. So yes, that's why you have a discount at the moment. Go and check it for yourself. And so that was the answering of the question that nobody asked. So, but thank you for listening to my beautiful promotion of the Bitcoin family. And while, you're and while you're listening to the promotion, don't forget to click down below on the links to join Bybit, for example. Thanks, and let's jump into the next part. The next part is the news, guys. And the news is very cool today because Javier Milei, a president de Argentina, he promised during his elections run that he's going to close the central banks. He wants to delete the whole Argentinian peso introduce the dollar, introduce Bitcoin. Now, the question, is it even possible for a country to live without a central bank? The answer is very simple. There is 198 countries in this world and only 180 countries have their own currency. There is 19 countries without their own currency. That's 10% of the world doesn't have their own currency. And by not having their own currency, they don't have a central bank as well, of course, because the central bank is printing the currency of that country. So that's the same thing that El Salvador did. Although El Salvador doesn't have their own currency anymore, they adapted the dollar as their currency. So they now depend on the United States central bank for the printing of dollars. But because they made Bitcoin a legal tender, they have this beautiful economy now where they have two legal tenders as a currency, the dollar and Bitcoin. Now, Argentina, probably is going to do exactly the same. First, delete the Argentina peso. Secondly, then use the dollar as a currency. And thirdly, accept Bitcoin as a legal tender. So they have the dollar and Bitcoin as legal currencies in their country for everyone to be able to use. And that will be a huge step for Bitcoin to become legal tender in another country. So yes, it is possible for us to live without central banks because I truly believe that El Salvador at the end won't be using the dollar that much anymore. I believe that they will start to use Bitcoin more and more and more, also for their imports, also for their exports, and also as just legal tender to spend Bitcoins on a daily basis by their people. And I think Argentina is gonna follow those steps as well. Of course they will start with the dollar. But aside of that, Bitcoin will become a legal tender. And the next step, for that monetary evolution will be that they will delete the dollar because they don't want to depend on the central banks of the United States as well. And then they will introduce Bitcoin as that new beautiful currency that the whole country will live on. And I think more and more countries in the world are going to adapt Bitcoin as a legal tender and as a valid currency. For me, it is a valid currency and a valid store of value. The perfect combination. Just see that that gold brick that you held in your safe deposit box as a store of value but now you can spend it at the same time that you butcher as well and not by scraping off a little bit gold no because bitcoin is the gold of the 21st century and it's divisible so you can use bitcoin all over the world in very small amounts as well while it has the same aspects of a store of value like gold the perfect combo so for me guys if already 10 percent of the world can live without a central bank then also 20% of the world can live without a central bank, and also 30% will be able to live without a central bank, and also 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100% will be able to live without a central bank the moment we adopt a decentralized currency as a worldwide reserve currency. Why do we need these central banks to print a shitload of money that is only creating inflation and making the poor people poorer and the rich people richer? Why would we want such a system? That system is stupid and it has been proven to be unsuccessful. Why do you believe that we have a crisis every certain amount of years? 2008-9, huge crisis. 2014-15, huge crisis. Now, 2021-2023, also huge crisis. 
every time massive uh, forms of inflation. And why? Because those central banks print a shitload of money out of thin air. And you are supporting it because you keep your fucking money on those fucking banks that use that money again for fractional reserve banking. Stop supporting them. The moment we start to use our money, we take away the control. The moment you use their money, they will be in control. So yes, I truly believe we can live in a beautiful world without central banks, completely decentralized currencies that are not being able to be printed out of thin air and by that creating a shitload of inflation. We don't need that anymore. We need to live now with the modern technologies that we have. And those modern technologies include a new modern monetary system built on the blockchain. And please let it be a decentralized one like Bitcoin. So that was all about the news, guys. Let's jump into the next part. The next part is an inspirational quote, of course. And this one today is special for the women because there was no booties today, so I'm gonna talk about a beautiful quote for the women. And why there were no booties today? Probably because at 7 a.m. I'm a little bit too early. But the quote about women is this one. The strongest action for a woman is to love herself, to be herself, and to shine amongst those that never believed she could. Behind every strong man, there is a strong woman. I would also have not been able to take all these steps without a beautiful wife supporting me full time. Just believe me, the step that we took, taking the kids from school, starting to homeschool them, and starting to do all those travels at the same time, that will require a very strong woman that is able to take that load of work on her shoulders. While I'm running around talking about Bitcoin, blockchain and life, presentations and all that stuff, counting Bitcoins, trading, there is also this core factor in your family that is spending time to the kids. And of course, I'm spending a shitload of time with my kids as well. But the main structure is mostly made by the wife. So behind every very strong man and very strong story, there is also a very strong woman. So I think the quote for women today is very important. The strongest action for a woman is to love herself, to be herself, and to shine among those that don't believe she ever could. And no, I am not against emancipation of women, even the opposite. I am really for the emancipation of women, and that's why I want those women to believe in themselves, to love themselves, and to shine among all those people that don't believe they can. I think it's very important. I've seen it happening now with my own children, my own daughters. They are becoming very strong women. And why are they becoming very strong women? Because they have a father that is giving them the right education, but also very important because the mother is showing them what a strong mother can do. Even in difficult situations like we changing our complete lives from a big house to a campsite, to homeless, to traveling all over the world in small crappy places, into big villas again. That was a very big emotional roller coaster ride for me, my children, and my wife. But my wife, I need to be very honest, was always the stable factor there for the kids because she was a strong woman, she was loving herself, she was believing herself, and she was shining around those that even didn't believe that she could. Even on television, she was there to say, no, 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 I fully agree. And maybe you don't believe that we can, but we can and we will prove that we can. And that is now why the documentary has been filmed about us for the last three years. Because everybody was asking himself, how are they doing this? Is this possible? Is this a weirdo, this guy? Is he like forcing his whole family to do all this? Do they like voluntarily do all of this? Now that documentary is almost to an end, guys, because we've been filming over three years. Yesterday, uh, I think the editing is also finished. Now they are doing the grading and the sound and all that stuff. Um, yesterday we received the trailer. The trailer is kick-ass. It's going to be really cool. And that documentary, probably going to go live next year, somewhere around April, um, on the biggest streaming platform of the world, is going to show you the lifestyle that we live. It's going to show you, it's not always beautiful, that we also have ups and downs. But also in this documentary you will see that there is always that beautiful strong woman that is backing up that crazy dude that wanted to go all into Bitcoin and took his family on a seven year trip all over the world. But not only for the women, but also for me, a very important quote today. Yes, the strongest action you can do as a woman is to love yourself, 
to believe in yourself and to shine among those people that don't believe you can. That was everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, then please give the video a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about these beach walks and talks? What do you think about the charts, about everything else? And see you probably tomorrow again. Is it tomorrow already Saturday? Oh shit, tomorrow is Saturday. So tomorrow I will do a live AMA, probably an English one, and Sunday a Dutch AMA. So probably see you at those live AMAs. Guys, thank you for watching. I wish you an amazing Friday, amazing weekend, and see you tomorrow, and it's not Monday again. Thanks for watching. Bye.